The following video has been rated L for Lispy and may contain autism. Just about as soon as Destiny 2 launched, we saw everyone praising it as the definitive way to experience Destiny 2, as well as being one of the most satisfying shooters to come to PC in a while. The controversy just had to find its way into headlines all over the internet and here on YouTube. Basically what kept popping up was that users were being falsely banned for using third party apps such as Discord's overlay, MSI Afterburner's overlay, programs such as that. But now that we've had days for the dust to settle, were all these false positive bans even legitimate? Because Bungie themselves have even came out to say that you shouldn't be getting banned for using overlay programs but that they might cause incompatibility and could also cause stability issues within the game itself. And they say all the bans were based on detection of other programs that violated their user policy, such as programs for aimbotting and other popular hacks that you probably have heard of many times in the past. Stuff that isn't new in the PC gaming world. Now I'm sure there is a chance that not every ban was 100% justified because no review system is ever 100% foolproof no matter if it's based on an automated system or based on a physical person reviewing each individual case. And since they have begun reinstating some accounts, that can only mean that there have been some mistakes made among the staff who handle reviewing the cases. But a large majority of the bans did not get lifted. So perhaps many of those who were complaining were actually guilty but just wanted to bitch and moan about not being able to go online and ruin the game for everybody else just because they are losers who can't play the game legitimately for whatever reason. I mean, it's not uncommon for even those who are guilty to try and stir up community outrage and hope that it will get them off the hook. Because these days, people get outraged first and think critically only after they've been presented with all the facts. So my theory is that I feel like a large majority of these people crying online might have been people who actually deserved to be banned, but tried to hide behind the public outrage that got stirred up. But like I said, there has seemed to be an error or two that had to be corrected. But when you have hundreds of people being banned and only a couple are getting their accounts back, I think that should tell you that maybe a large majority of people actually deserve their punishment. Although I do agree that Bungie does need to be more transparent about what is going on or else they can get salty when people start to create their own theories since they have nothing else to go off of except community speculation. And they just really need to allow people to appeal their account bans, just in the case that an error was made. Because once again, it is bound to happen no matter what kind of system you have in place. But hey, that's just my thoughts. Comment down below, what do you think? Do you think that all these bans were legitimate? Or do you think that people are just getting stirred up and speculating and just creating fake news? Also be sure to like the video if you enjoyed this cancer. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and also hit the bell to be notified of all my new content.